Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for April 26th, 27th, 28th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for my Aries. Hello, my Aries. I hope you're just going to have a wonderful weekend. So this is a short reading. I just used my Doreen Virtue Angel Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused the cards with Reiki energy. And this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. Take what you like, leave the rest. Please, please, please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and click on the bell for future videos. Okay, so let's see what we've got going for my Aries for the weekend. Let's go ahead and cut the cards and see. My passionate Aries. Okay, something new, something new. I'm feeling new love. New love. It could be, you know, it could be love of a job. <laughs> it could be love of a person. It could be, you know, new birth. It could be, but it's new, 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 new. Okay, let's see what we have. First card is reverse. They are all five. They are all face down. This reversed ones to me means this is a very strong message for you. And here we have the King of Fire. This is definitely your energy along with Leo and Sagittarius energy. Motivational, idealistic, ambitious, charismatic, focus, 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 communicate with, lead, with vision, and be a leader. Advice from someone creative. I really feel, you know, that you're, I mean, I really do feel something new, a new love, a new, a new, some, new, 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 new. It keeps going in my head. And you need to just go for it. I mean, now make sure it's positive. Make sure it's something that you really want. But it's, uh, you know, and I mean, you know, so if it's something that's just new, don't go for it just because it's new and just because you watch this video. No, it has to be something that you want, okay? But it's like, it's something new. It, and it's actually, it's not even that you have to go for it. It's like it's coming to you. So just, just be aware when things type come to you. Now that's this, this is the type of energy that's around there. So let's see what this next card says for you. The five of water. So fives are, of course, about change, you know, and sometimes change is difficult. Water is our Cancer, Pisces, and our Scorpio energy, and that's our emotional energy. It's fluid energy, too. And things are not turning out the way you'd hope, not seeing the positive in a situation, crying all over spilled milk. So like I'm, you know, I... There's this thing that's this new, but maybe it's not moving fast enough for you. Maybe it's not the way you thought it was going to be. Again, I feel like it's coming to you, and you know it's not necessarily. And maybe you thought you had to go and get it, and maybe there was a couple of things you were looking for. Like if this was a job, maybe there was a couple of opportunities, and because this one did not come true or did not, you know, this one fell through. Um, and you're like, oh, that's the one I wanted. And then you're given something else. It's coming to you. Um, and you're like, oh, but then in the long run, this is the one that works out better for you. Okay. It's that type of energy this weekend. Let's see what this last card says. Because, and this one is reversed also. So here we have the six of earth. Earth is about, you know, money, home, things that you can touch, things that you can feel. Okay. And this one, if you look at it, this is the scales. This is the scales, and this is about money. This is a definitely about money card. So this one is gifts of money, time, or effort, new career opportunities, receiving a loan, or paying off debts. I really feel that it's more, okay, here we have our king of fire. Here we have paying off debts, getting some money. This is the type of energy. The thing is, it may not be... The what you were actually wanting it's kind of like okay it's kind of like you know in the united states we have the lottery and i think you have to have six numbers it's kind of like winning five numbers and not having that six and you're like oh i'm only was only one number away from winning the really big big lottery but the thing is, you didn't, you know, you're not being appreciative of what you're want that you won the smaller one, and maybe it's the one that's going to, you know, pay your mortgage that month, or maybe it's the one that, 
is going to um, pay your tuition. I feel like there's some, you know, it's that type of that type of gratitude that we need to have. And, you know, and because who knows, maybe if you would have gotten the six numbers, you know, maybe that would have ruined your life. Do you know, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, that's what this card is about. It's like, you know, hey, things are coming to you. Things are coming to you. And in many ways, you need to show some gratitude. Okay? Kind of like be grateful for what you get. Okay. So my Aries, as always, know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.